Hey guys, so we're gonna have a talk about the HP Tuners RTD remote tuning dongle. Um, this is basically what it looks like. And what this allows us to do is perform remote tuning for customers you know, across Australia. So whether it be a Holden Commodore, Colorado, Holden Cruise, um, anything that HP Tuners support, um, Jeep, you know, Chrysler, Hemis, all that sort of stuff, um, we can tune it remotely. And it's, it's a really good device. It's essentially the same device as what we use as tuners in-house. However, it's a stripped back version. So it only allows you to read, write, and perform diagnostics. Um, it also works with the phone app, but this video is only intended for people who are going to be using the PC version. Personally, for me, I feel the PC version is just a lot simpler. There's just so many less steps that you have to make. Um, and the best part about a PC is if we ever, ever have to do any, some form of like logging or scanning, um, it allows us to be able to put some of our scanning logs onto your laptop and um, do a more in-depth uh, diagnosis, uh, which you generally don't need to do, but it's just nice to be able to have the tools on the other end should we need them. So the first process is if you're about to buy it, um, you obviously want to go to our website and www.independentmotorsports.com.au you will go to the page that we have it on there. You will obviously select whether you buy it as a dongle only or whether you buy it to suit the particular cars. We've already got some pre-listed there and that will change as time goes on. Um, but what you wanna do is once you go there, you wanna go down here, you wanna select the program download. You wanna download that program and basically install that onto your PC. That's gonna give you a version of the RTD and that will allow you to um, basically read and write the file. So I'll just get it up on my laptop. It's already pre-installed. Um, but yeah, basically this is what it will look like, um, HP tuners. And then what you need to do is, you, you simply just need to resync the device. So what we'll do is, I'll just, I'll just plug it in on the bench at the moment. I've got a PC on the bench that we'll use for a demonstration. And then we'll go to an actual car and do it properly. But once you plug it in, you wanna to go to the help tab, which is just up here. Uh, click on the help tab and then scroll to resync interface. Now what that's going to do is that's going to pull the, the dongle and we've already installed credits on there for you guys so it's licensed up ready to go. And you'll see it's resync has been completed. That is now synced up so now it's got all the credits. Now for future reference if for whatever reason you were to get a dongle and it didn't have credits don't freak out. Um, you just simply need to give us the serial or the part number which is on the dongle. And as you can see on here, this particular model, it's pretty much just underneath the um, code there. So it's just the SN number. So if you just simply send that number to us, um, we'll activate the, the credits on your dongle. So once you have done that, um, you'll close this down and then you'll take your laptop and dongle to the vehicle and plug it into the diagnostic port. And we'll, we'll run through that process now, how that works. So we've now got it plugged in. We're using a Holden Colorado for this example. So plugged into the diagnostic port, which is down underneath the dash. Every car is different, obviously. Once you come across to the laptop, you're gonna go up to this top corner here. You're gonna collect the, the chipset with the green arrow, which is read vehicle. That's gonna come up with this particular option and you'll hit read. And basically that's gonna start reading away. So now, when you do this, you'll see these two screens. You get two options. So one's the transmission and one's the PCM. Um, I prefer you guys to just read the whole thing as one. Um, however, if you only just want to send me the transmission calibration, you can just simply mark it as do not read um, and vice versa for the transmission. So you can either send me both of them as one or you can send them individually. But if you do read them individually, you will have to read them uh, separately. So this is why I always say to people, just read them as a whole. Make sure both items are selected as reading tire, reading tire, and basically send that to us. Um, once it's finished reading, all you then need to do is save that into your My Downloads folder or your desktop, wherever you're comfortable to save it, and basically email that file to us. We will amend the file, we will send it back to you, and you'll literally repeat the same process, but in reverse. Um, as long as you have the uh, both drop down boxes being these two selected to write um, then it's going to write the file straight in um, and if we don't make any transmission calibration changes then you don't need to write the transmission either so I hope that makes it a simple easy process if you just simply follow the exact um, as we spoke about it step by step um, it's pretty easy to do 
if you do get stuck, not stress, we can log in with Team Viewer, we can do the process, set it all up for you, get it ready, and then once we walk you through it, like everybody wants to show, um, you can pretty much do it yourself from then on. So yeah, if this is too much for you to, to do, don't don't be too worried about it. We can we can take care of it from our end. But um, hopefully that helps you out and gets you out of a pickle. Thanks guys, catch up. Sorry, I'm back. There was one thing I forgot. So once you get your tune calibration back from us, um, obviously you need to ride it back into the vehicle. Now what will happen is, is you're going to, in this case, open the vehicle. You're gonna open up your tune and, get rid of that one. So basically you'll go here and it'll be right to vehicle. Once you hit ride to vehicle, it's gonna come up with this screen here. Now this is asking to as activate your credits. Now these are the credits that we put on the dongle. So once you run through that process, um, basically have it show license credits, which I'll show you. Um, hit that, it's gonna poll it. And then you'll see there, it's got the credits. There's two credits available. You're gonna click the, this one here specific and then hit okay. Now once you do that, that's going to apply those credits. Now you only need to do that step once. So every time you license a vehicle, you only need to do that once. Every time you do a tune calibration after that, that process won't be there. So that's one thing I forgot to add in there. Thanks guys.